Okay, so today we are doing U.S. traditional multiplication, some two-by-two two problems. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit so you can see my area model below. And we're going to do the traditional model, and then I'm also going to show you the area model down at the bottom here too. Okay, so step one, multiply 37 by the 5 in 25 as if the problem were 37 times 5. So I'm not going to look at that 2 if... I um, could put my finger over the two, I would, and I'm gonna multiply five times seven, which is going to give me 35. Carry that three, put my five down here. Five times three is 15, plus the three is 18. And so my answer is 185 for that five times the 37. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 185 down here as well. So if I were to do 37 times 5, my answer, my partial product right, right there would be 185. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do step 2, which is multiply this 37 by the 2 as if the problem were 37 times 20. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase my pink right here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the 37 by the 2 as if it were 20, because that two is really worth 20 in 25. So I'm gonna put my zero here because we're multiplying as if it were 20. So I'm gonna already have that zero right there. Now I'm gonna take two times seven, 14, carry my one, put my four down here. Two times three, which is six, plus one is seven. So this partial product is 740. So I'm going to put it down here as well. So you can kind of see my partial products in the traditional multiplication way, but also the partial product. Because if I were to do 37 times 20, my answer would be 740. All right, step three, add the products. Remember, product is an answer to a multiplication problem. So add the products from step one and step two. So I have my pink and my green. I'm going to add those together. And so 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 4 is going to give me 12. Carry my 1 and then my 2. 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So my answer becomes 925. And then again, if I were to add these two together in here, my answer would also be 925. So just showing you those two different models right there. All right, we are going to try this next problem right here. 64 times 15. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my by my 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry my 2 and put my 0 down here. 5 times 6 is 30 plus my 2, 32. And then again, now I'm multiplying by the 1, but that 1 is really going to be worth 10. So I'm going to go ahead and put that 0 down here as my placeholder 0. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 6 is 6. So now I'm able to add those together. 0, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9. So my answer is 960. Now I am going to go ahead and do another one just for additional practice right here. Let's do 52 times 30, 36. Okay, and again, this is just a practice. All right, so first I'm going to do 6 times 2, which gives me 12. Carry my 1, put my 2 down here. 6 times 5, which equals 30 plus 1 equals 31. Now I'm going to be multiplying by this 3 right here, which is really worth 30. So I'm going to put my 0 down here. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 5 is 15. Take that 15 and put it down in my answer, because there's not another number in my hundreds to multiply. So now when I add, I have 2, 6 plus 1, is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8, and 1 plus nothing is 1. Count from the back, 1, 2, 3, 
1,872. All right, and so for your lesson practice problems, you have three problems to practice. You have 26 times 15, 38 times 46, and 91 times 37.